She is actually an attorney, so she is an offender by day and an offender by night. <laughs> Give it up for Sheila Nafee. Song. They're like, shut up. <laughs> anyway, no, it's. I didn't know this was comedy night. I thought it was the biggest boob contest. <laughs> and I thought being one of the only women, yeah, you see the guys are up there on stage before me. I think I've lost that one. <laughs> yeah, I haven't been in Owasso in a long time. I mean, I love the people of Owasso. How many of you guys are from Owasso? Yeah! I can tell you guys got a real fashion sense. What I went up to the Walmart. I mean, yeah. I mean, there's nothing classier than pairing cowboy boots with some bedazzled sweatpants. Yay! Oh no, I was. Someone told me, people of Owasso, they're so great. They're so friendly. So I came and, you know, a little bit earlier and walking around and. Mm, not so much. They were like staring me up and down and shit, mumbling under their breath. Look at the big city girl come all the way from Tulsa, <laughs> wearing her bling pants <laughs> and uh, sporting a fancy mouse bullet teeth. <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> yeah, it's. No, I'm usually the only female that gets up here on the stage. All the other comics are young guys, but it's okay, I fit right in with them, because after the show, none of the girls want to fuck me either. <laughs> it's hard. Seriously. It's hard being a 46-year-old single female trying to meet the right kind of guys, one that's not afraid of commitment. Is this thing working? Yeah. Okay. One that's not afraid of commitment, so I thought I'd try online dating. Anyone ever try that? Woo! One person liars. I know better. Just about everybody who tried that. Um, well, they got eHarmony. Plenty of fish. Plenty of fish. Thanks for Mingle. helping me on that line. <laughs> <laughs> Christian Mingle. That one sounds like a lot of fun. I don't know what religious people are thinking. Every time I hear Christian Mingle, I just picture Jesus gangbang. <laughs> I'm oh, sorry. No. no, online dating, it wasn't for me. I'm old-fashioned. I want a guy to lie to my face. <laughs> online dating. I see I knew you tried that. Um, no, I thought I found the perfect type guy. He's desperate. He hadn't been late in months. And he's not afraid of commitment. Married men. <laughs> so I, uh... So I started dating one, and my best friend was such a bitch about it. She's like, he's so gross. What an asshole. I can't believe you're sleeping with him. I said, she is such a hypocrite. She married the bastard. <laughs> <laughs> no, you always meet the creeps. You meet them at a bar just like this one. They're so creepy, they don't look at your boobs. They look you directly in the eyes <laughs> and say, so how old are you boys? I'm like, I've had plenty of kids. There's none of them made it. <laughs> Pass the first trimester. I'm, I'm sorry. I, I'm kidding. That's a joke, I promise. I've never had kids. I mean, the thought of having another person inside my body for nine months scares the shit out of me. Hell, I can't stand having another person inside me for 20 minutes. You, you like that, sir? <laughs> you want to go at it? <laughs> What, he win the douchebag contest here? No, you don't even look like you got two minutes in here. Uh, like I said, I've never had kids, but I do have a six-year-old niece, and sometimes I get to babysit her. So when I take her out to the mall, I put her on one of those harnesses, you know what I'm talking about? And people look at me strange and go, what a horrible mother. Like, people, you need to calm down about the harnesses, because it's for her own protection. Because I'm always drunk. <laughs> so the next time I get her in that harness, I'm like, what am I going to do? So I put her in a shoe that's three inches taller than the other one. <laughs> and then I put her in an oversized football helmet. Whee! <laughs> That'll look like freaking mother of the year. <laughs> no, I, I hate racism, but I am a little bit racist. 
<laughs> all you white people are looking over your shoulder. <laughs> no, it's, it's not what you think. I'm Lebanese. I just hate all the countries that surround the motherland. Boy, oh, they got those. Have you seen their flags? They got cross swords, hand grenades, and machetes all over them. What do Lebanese people got? A cedar, A cedar tree. <laughs> the hell are we supposed to do? Hide behind it? <laughs> and, uh, have you seen the people that come out of those countries? Saddam Hussein, Osama bin Laden, and Mohammed al Bajim. <laughs> I don't know who Mohammed al Bajim is, but with a name like that, you know he's up to no good. <laughs> And who do we got? Danny Thomas, Casey Kasem, and Jamie Farr. That was a level of jihad right there. We see Omar Sharif carrying us into battle. Oh, I dated a Muslim once. He kept buying me burkas. I was like, gee, thanks. Didn't have that shade of black yet. But uh, we didn't work out. I'm a Scorpio. He's a Shiite. <laughs> I want to talk to you guys, well, you guys, in the audience about romance, because y'all are doing it wrong. Quit saying those three little words you think every woman wants to hear. I'd hit it. As a woman, it ain't a compliment. If a guy's going to announce it, it's probably a dare. And you need to handle those women with care. I don't mean buying them flowers and candy. I mean, you go into that date with a box of rubber gloves and a dose of penicillin. <laughs> While you're at it, double up on that condom. Because when you say I'd hit it, what you're really telling the world is, I'm just the kind of nasty freak that'll get my dick all jacked up in the process. <laughs> now, I was arguing with one of those guys earlier about it. He goes, some of those girls aren't so bad. One was a paralegal. <laughs> I'm like, paralegal? Pfft. That's just a fancy legal term for a whore. <laughs> Any all paralegals in the audience? Everybody's afraid to raise their hand. Anyway, okay, I'll go on. I had another joke about that, but um, I am a criminal attorney, and my clients are really dumb. I mean, I had one of them that was kicked out of anger management or fighting. <laughs> and another guy show up to DUI school drunk, and they're like, he doesn't have a problem. He's a social drinker. <laughs> so. Uh, now, I do the normal run of the day, every day, oaky type crimes like DUIs, making a meth lab, <laughs> bestiality. <laughs> Is it still bestiality if you just lay there and the animal does all the work? <laughs> no! Um, I hate that my gynecologist is all thumbs. <laughs> You're waiting for it. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I don't hate it. <laughs> uh, of course, sometimes I think my gynecologist is coming on to me. Medical reasons to look up there, my ass. Of course, it could make me feel better, like when I go into the audience, the office, audience, whatever. So oh, that'd be fun too. <laughs> that joke up. When I go into the office, dim the lights, or instead of those cold stirrups, replace them with pink fuzzy handcuffs. <laughs> Or shake it up once in a while, throw it a butt plug. <laughs> Tell us why I like my dentist so much. Anyway, thank you guys.